All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chen, and right now it's actually 4.42 p.m. I'm actually in the middle of doing a live stream, which I normally do after the market's close, but I completely forgot that today was Tuesday, so I'm, uh, I forgot to do a video. Uh, so with that being said, uh, okay, so this is actually pretty good. Jack Dorsey wants more Bitcoin. That's why Bitcoin's not going to go down. Because the rich institutions, the cabal, the pedo bears, and all of those pricks, they're all hyper-pumping Bitcoin and the rest of the markets. So that's why all the stuff is going up. Chipotle's new ch quesadilla. It's for digital customers only. I kind of want I like quesadillas. They're really tasty. They just tend to be expensive. So anyway... Uh, it's been a volatile couple of weeks. Uh, today was obviously a really good day overall. Uh, you know, it looks like the Federal Reserve has finally decided to manipulate the bond markets, as you can kind of see here. Like, they're just, um, uh, let's see, yields are going down. So that means, yes, the Federal Reserve is buying all this debt. The exception would be selling off the uh, one-year Treasury yields. This is what's going up. So this is where the Fed's getting their money for this stuff. And there's plenty more uh, buying left to go, at least until they run out of steam. Uh, there's some weird stuff going on with the royal family. So apparent, like, apparently they are part of the global pedo bear network. Uh, Harry, Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel, they want out of it. So there's some crazy shit going on with the royal family. So I don't know what the hell's going on there. I just know that... Prince Philip is like on his deathbed, and he literally does look like Emperor Palpatine slash Satan. So I know they, uh, he, he doesn't have a supply of adrenochrome anymore. So he'll, uh, he won't be long for this world. So overall, the stock picks are doing well, but Bank of America and ExxonMobil uh, are down, which makes sense because crude oil is down, way down today. This is the second day uh, of losses, but eventually it'll bounce back up because. They go it like crude oil seems to like go up somewhat and then go down almost the same amount and before going to new highs again. Uh, and it's heavily manipulated by the same banks because you know they just manipulate everything. So that thing will eventually go back up. So whatever. But the important thing is riot is going up, silver is going up. So if silver can get back up, I'll be doing pretty well. I can close. I can fuck. If I'm lucky, I can get a, a profit on my SLD and call options, but I really just want to exit this position. Uh, and then Riot is obviously the long-term play, because with the two-year call, I mean, I really wanted to buy more Riot yesterday, but I was already tapped out, so, you know. But it would have been nice to have just bought, if instead of buying at 70-something dollars, my calls, I could have bought at 38-something. Could have had double the amount of money. Because <clears throat> that would definitely put me in the multi-millionaire range, when Bitcoin does ultimately go up to... Uh, the moon. Now, before we now, because I want to keep this video short because I completely forgot to freaking do it today. Uh, let me see. I, I did actually post a lot of good shit today on my Twitter in terms of money. Uh, GameStop's going back up, which is nice, even though I'm not in it, but. Mm. Oh yeah, Josh sent me a message, so we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to go on a show this Thursday. He hasn't gotten back to me in the messages yet, but I'll be. I'll definitely be back on the Red Pill Project. Mm, here we go. U.S. banks just want a long-sought regulatory break that will now allow them to expand their balance sheets by as much as 600 billion without regulatory oversight. And on top of that, he also put out in his newsletter that banks are no longer required to have any res capital reserves. So basically, they're completely 100% fully leveraged now. They're basically re-engineering the 2008 uh, hyper pump and dump, but this will be on steroids. Uh, it could be a little different this time because we do have more knowledge and technolog technological manipulation. And on top, we have cryptocurrency and blockchain. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to just assume that it's just still going to be a hyper pump and dump. So basically, yeah, <clears throat> if every bank can now basically inflate and print $600 billion on their own, Bank of America, JP Morgan, Morgan uh, Wells Fargo, HSBC, Citigroup, you know, all the big banks, if they can just create $600 billion out of thin air, what do you think gonna, that's going to do to the markets? Yeah, Bitcoin is going to go to one to three million. 
All right, so we're going to become multimillionaires off of this uh, bullshit, retarded manipulation system. Um, but, uh, yeah, don't short the market. If you're nervous, you can buy a small hedge, but I wouldn't even do that. Like, my hedges are still there, but it's going to expire on the March 19th, third Friday of this month. And it'll expire worthless, so that's money out of my pocket. Which I knew was going to happen, That was because that's what you I kind of want to happen, right? Because I want the markets to go up, not down. So I just lose a couple hundred bucks. But what do I care when, you know, if Riot's going to be like $200? Well, it'll probably be more like 100 So that's the bonds. Uh, cryptocurrency is just up across the board. Um, yeah, it's a 54K. So once Bitcoin goes back to 58K, then it's going to go back to its all-time new high. It's already been repressed enough, along with all the other major cryptos. Yeah, even the Litecoin's doing well. So, I mean, we'll see how much steam Bitcoin has. Well, if it wants to hit 70K, 75K, then maybe that's when there'll be a pullback. Uh, otherwise, it should be Bitcoin or 100 grand. Uh, and, then after, and, then if, and then that definitely should be a pullback. If it goes from... 58k to 100k that's almost a doubling so that definitely is going to require a pullback and in every time and in every new all-time high bitcoin hits beyond a hundred thousand the likelihood of a pullback gets stronger each day so uh because one thing i'm thinking about maybe doing is on this next little uh upward movement i may want to sell all my riot calls take the gamble wait for Bitcoin will pull back after because it always pulls back up up a lot down a lot right or up a lot and then down a little then I buy the dip because uh, it really would have been nice if I bought Riot when I was at thirty eight dollars yesterday because I would have bought it right but there was no extra free money all right I would have bought it right and I effectively would double the amount of Riot calls that I have right and then I would have literally multi millions right. <laughs> A two-year multi-million dollar call options on essentially Bitcoin. Uh, it's actually superior to Ledger X. And in a way, it's probably safer too. Uh, yeah, so um, I need to actually look at my messages here. Hey, Miniwaza. Yeah, fucking Drugo. I don't know what a Drugo is. All right, so I got to keep this video short. Um... Because obviously I, it's like almost 5 o'clock, so I should be uploading a video. So I'm not even going to do the usual, just go on my wire. You know where to find me. So uh, I'll be on the Red Pill Project. Uh, we're trying to, I'm trying to see if I can do it for this Thursday. You know, I haven't popped in in a while, so I should pop in. So I will see you all uh, next Tuesday. And hopefully what will be a video that I remember to make. Or just sit tight and, you know, we'll just uh, you know, do my thing on the live stream. So, uh, yeah, just go to trovo.live forward slash real Johnson Chan. Because that's actually where you get all their actual good up-to-date shit. All right? Because I don't want to hear people say, oh, uh, Bitcoin went up, but uh, I, I missed out on the boat. And then... But then you follow me, it's like, then why did you miss the boat? You know? B-Chain finally doing nice. I'm falling asleep. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you're in, like, yeah, it's probably, like, super late there. Yeah, all right, let me look up B-Chain, and then we'll end the video. Um, I don't even know. They have a weird symbol. Uh, V-Chain is up 2%. That's it. Well, at least it looks like it's going up, right? Avalanche is doing way better. It's like, it's like, see, what are all these weird coins, man? They're like, there's always a new flavor of the month coin. That's what I like to call them. Wow. Well, I guess. Oh, wait, V-Chain. Oh, wasn't that the coin? Yeah, that's the coin that uh, Josh recommended. Wow, I remember this was three cents. Now it's at six point five, so it's already doubled and it's more than doubled in value. Oh shit! Damn. Well, well, I'm glad you were able to get in on VeChain because I didn't want to bother trying to get this damn coin. But if you could have gotten it, yeah, you just made double your money. Hmm. It's already out, it's already outperforming everybody. I mean, I'm still going to just be in dog because that didn't go up the double in the same period, but it will double eventually because this thing likes to grow in spurts. It's always like one of the laggard coins. Damn. 
You know, every, yeah, well, everything's getting hyperpunked. Made a couple grand in two days. Well, I hope you did not sell because you should not be selling unless you think you can play the uh, highs and lows, the pumps and dumps. I wouldn't really risk it because especially right now because we finally got past the dump period. So now we're in the uh, let's go straight up period. Uh, let me see. I want to check the RSI strength on Riot. Mm, I don't think they've updated this yet. It can't be this low. If it's this low, even though it went up this much, that is fantastic. That basically means this thing's going straight to the moon. Yeah, look at this. The technicals went from sell, trending to strong sell, all the way back to buy. <laughs> see, I, see, this is why I don't like technical analysis, because they can't fucking figure anything out correctly. Uh, that's why I like the way I do things. Just what is the overall trend doing? All right, that's why the stock guy we follow, right, um, does the same thing. That's why we're gonna make a shit ton of money. Gonna buy more as soon as you can. Well, definitely, uh, yeah. Well, definitely a good idea because it's cheap. It's actually performing better than Dogecoin. Fuck, maybe I need to get off my ass and buy that shit. All right. Well, either way, uh, enjoy your profits, everyone. I would not recommend selling, unless it's XRP, then dump that shit and get something else. Did XRP even go up today? Yeah, it didn't even go up today. It, like, look at this. You're losing money buying this piece of shit coin. Everybody else is literally making a ha money hand over fist except Ripple holders. And that's why I find it so irritating when people are just fanatical about buying Ripple, because you're they're literally making people lose money. Uh, because everyone's making money except you. It's like it's like the biggest scam ever. It, like, it, it, that actually really makes me mauled. But whatever. I'll see you all next week, or just stick around for the live stream. We're gonna go watch the uh, market updates. So uh, yeah, Trovo Live forward slash uh, Real Johnson Chen. That's where you're gonna make all your money. So you know, go watch that. Or watch the replays in there. All right. Uh, stop recording.